everybody uh, welcome back to the channel and in today's video is a little different than what you've seen in any of my past videos um, so if you're new to the channel some of the things we do is like unboxing of new stuff and um, showing tutorials or installs or removals of things anything really to do with this Ta -da, Bronco um, and so I'm using my phone slash GoPro for this video so the video is gonna be a little bit different and I have my trusty assistant behind the camera my daughter and um, so today is gonna be about going on a little mini Bronco road trip I thought I would bring you guys with me us <laughs> so uh, being here in Washington we got like five minutes of Sun so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you want to make sure you have gloves <laughs> your beanie cap your mask and fumbling and sunglasses those are all important so since it's a little chilly in the garage that's wrong with my beanie cap so gotta make sure it's facing the right direction okay yeah there you go you guys get to see me in my beanie cap gotta keep those ears warm all right and then i'm just gonna throw these in here real quick in the newly installed center console, which um, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go and watch that. And another thing we'll need, Windex, microfiber towel, so we can clean the window because it hasn't been cleaned in a little bit. And then last but not least, my daughter, my wonderful daughter, she's gonna go for the ride with me and brave the cold. So, also, that's the first time you guys have ever probably seen my daughter behind the camera or in front of the camera. So, anyways, next thing is, let's get started. Aha, hopefully I sped that up enough for you guys. And the next thing on the list is we gotta do the hood here. And don't hold it on me. I still only have the one hinge. Still gotta do another one. We'll get to that at some point in their future uh, video. But I like to always keep my battery hooked up to a battery tender and so we want to go ahead and disconnect that make sure not to touch anything and then we'll just go ahead and pop this here set that down with all the parts that you'll see in a future video pull pins Hands are a little cold, so a little shaky. It's only about 47 degrees out, but still want to take the Bronco out anyways. <clears throat> and next time, new center console that holds the Windex. And this is how I clean my windows. How about you? Leave it in the comments. Oh. Always try not to hit my head. Okay, you haven't done your windows this way? Oh, you know what I should do? Gotta have fun. <clears throat> Might speed this part up. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Good enough. Here in Washington, anyways. Now, I'll try not to kill myself. One more reason a roll bar is good to have. All right. This back with some of my cleaning supplies. Guess we're good to go. All right, so. Everything's ready, windows clean, garage doors open, lights are off, and we're ready to rock and roll. I don't think I've ever done a cold start with you guys before on the Bronco, or even really, a lot of first times today with this video. Hope you guys like, and you'll have to let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos. Got my hood pins in so my hood doesn't fly open. I got my stereo. Oh, no, not yet. Um, no stereo there, but I will put one in here, hopefully. 
in the near future. So we'll have that. Um, so we'll just have to listen to the stereo of the engine. Um, got my gloves on, sunglasses, of course. And uh, one thing I didn't mention, don't forget your sanitizer. You never know when you might need it. And uh, let's see if it starts. Pop my brake. Get the clutch in. Give it a couple pumps. And then... I haven't started it in probably... What would you say, Natasha? Uh, three months? Yes. Maybe about three months. Still carbureted. the other videos yet I have power steering but I do not have power brakes so that's always a little bit fun when trying to stop but surprisingly the brakes actually do pretty well so if you guys are new to the channel this is one of many different types of videos we're gonna do as I mentioned earlier, and uh, if you're a subscriber already, tell me what you think of this kind of video. Would you want to see some more uh, Bronco vlogs, as they say? Like the idea of being out in the sun with me and my daughter. Another four by. Uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, we'll uh, continue recording a little bit as we get closer to our destination. Until then, see you in know, well, for you guys in about a sec. Other than that, we'll see you soon. Well, the sun's still out. It hasn't gone away quite yet. We're almost to our first destination. Maybe the only destination. Not 100% sure yet. But, uh, of course, in this time of the season here in Washington, these 
sun moments are few and far between. And this is our stop here. Pochies. Gonna get a couple drinks. Get our mark on. Uh, I'll tell ya, having power steering is really nice. Um, I brought this up in another video about the shifter and as you can see here see my hand naturally sits in this direction so when I hold on a steering wheel, uh, the shifter it just seems to naturally fit in this direction because some people wonder why I don't have it turned the other way but I have to turn my wrist so there you go if you guys are ever wondering why this is in this direction so yeah well um, not gonna record inside but we're uh, gonna go get a drink and we will be back all right, so got our pochi on, but I got a mocha with uh, boba, and then I don't know, she got some sort of mango thing with boba in it, and uh, I can't even recall last time I really even had a boba. Uh, get to try out our new cup holders down here. You can see down here, and see these kind of fold in a little bit, kind of hold them in there. It's kind of nice. So putting this uh, new, newly installed or dropped in center console. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. Um, I think we're gonna make our next stop. Uh, we're gonna go have some fun, check out Goodwill, see if we can find ourselves some, uh, some muscle equipment, some gym equipment, uh, so we can work out at home instead of a gym. You know, save some money, save some trips, go from there. Um, yeah, we could use a little chin tuck <laughs> so um let's see if it starts the second time around oh usually it starts right away it must be the cold ah oh, there we go <laughs> yeah all right on the road here we go hope you guys are enjoying the the trip with us We've made it this far in the video so far. Back on the road. This also gives uh, some of you guys uh, that are watching this outside of Washington, what Washington looks like this time of year right now. Gotta make sure you look where you're going. That's why I have a, a designated recruit. <laughs> So, um, touch back here and, well, once again, and like a second for you guys, we're going to watch the road here for a minute. You see our uh, wonderful uh, traffic and clouds starting to roll in a little bit. Might make this trip a little bit shorter this time around, just because we don't know what the sun's going to do. But, uh... Yeah, for us it'll be about 10 minutes or so for you, about two seconds or so, and we'll see you soon. So, uh, almost to our location. I thought I wouldn't really record too much of the actual trip, and, uh, that there's not really a whole lot on the actual streets to look at too much plus it gets kind of loud and windy hopefully you guys could actually hear me so this is my first like bronco vlog so uh, don't know how loud it is for you guys you're gonna have to play with the audio on this but um, go ahead and show that we're uh, getting ready to pull up here busier than I was uh, expecting. It is a weekend. Do a little drive around. Gives us time to spend some quality time together. And uh, find ourselves a parking spot. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This 
will be our only four wheel driving right here if you want to take a look. There's our four wheel drive here in Washington right now. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it's the only four wheel driving we're going to do today. Sorry, guys. Well, actually, we'll do one more right up here. But one more speed bump for you guys. <laughs> Sorry for the bumps. But we'll go, we're going to go ahead and head in here in a sec. And then see if we get lucky and actually find something to uh, get gym wise. Aha, found a parking spot by a garbage can. Wonderful. All right, we will uh, see you guys really soon. All right. Okay, so. We struck out. No luck on the gym equipment. Covered my ears back up. Um, gotta get our sanitizer on. Yeah, you know, gotta stay safe. Yeah, so um, no luck with the gym equipment. And I think we're gonna go ahead and make this our last stop. As Washington likes to show us a little bit of blue sky not so blue sky so we're gonna work our way back home and uh, we'll finish off the blog here in a little bit let's see if we get ourselves started oh fan belt um make sure you got your seat belts on and we're gonna be getting ready to go here in a sec so um we will uh we'll see you at home all right sure dropped a lot in the short period of time of going on the road for a little mini trip and we're getting closer to home so uh, yeah I hope you guys have been enjoying the trip so far to summarize our trip we uh, had some sun we've had some clouds luckily at this point no rain get ready to get into the back cave here and our quote-unquote off-roading aka speed bumps sunglasses here so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, just coming in for a landing into the back cave. Let's see how close I can get to my bar. Since I got the new bumper, I haven't been able to gauge it quite yet. Oh, I haven't hit it yet. I'm going to stop there. We'll see how close I get. I got to shut it off. Well, we made it home nice and safe. We did not get any um, goodies from Goodwill, but that's okay. Maybe next trip. We did, on the other hand, get this kind of goodie. By the way, I am not sponsored by Pochies. You haven't seen this video and you want to sponsor, maybe. <laughs> but um, it's actually really good. I haven't had a Pochies boba, but my daughter has it and uh, she enjoys them. Um, that's about it. This is, once again, my first ever Bronco vlog. I hope you guys have, have liked it. I have. I had a lot of fun. Enjoy the little trips with my daughter when we go out riding. Um, until next time, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll do one quick peek over there to see how close we got to the bumper just for the fun of it. And that's about it. And... Here, I will take over because I want my daughter to be seen. <laughs> I think she's in, in view. <laughs> but uh going to get out and see how close I got to my bumper. I'm still trying to get used to it. 
it's a good way of gauging how close you get. Oh man, I sucked really bad. See, my old bumper, I, I'm not even showing you yet right now because my, oh, look at that. No hands. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. That was a cool trip. Anyways, um, I always like to gauge how close I'm actually getting to my bumper. So when I go off road and stuff like that, it's good for, you know, making sure that, um, you know, you're not running into trees, right? So this new bumper, still haven't figured it out quite yet. I think I have a lot more room than I realized that I can move up. And I'm afraid to show you guys how pathetic it is. But this is how close I got. Ugh. I'm you ask my daughter. I'm usually about yeah, about that close when I pull in with my old bumper, but <sighs> just gotta keep practicing. So thank you. Hats off to you. Um for watching it if you've made it this far into the video i got a few videos coming up and more videos after that and after that and after that so don't forget to subscribe hit the like and the bell so you can see when other videos are coming up and get notified until next time signing off thanks